ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, press that subscribe button below, that little red and white button, because I'm so close to 9k. Every new viewer is crucial on this channel. And a thumbs up or a comment below would be really appreciated. Let's talk about the two boys that's on international duty at the moment, Maeda and Tom Rogic. Maeda played a half an hour for Japan this morning, 2 0 win over China in the Asian qualifiers at home in Japan. Came on the last half an hour, didn't score. Look at the end of the day, he's had to help his country get closer to the Qatar World Cups that currently second in that group, which is fantastic. Tour place is Tom Rogic, Soccer Rios. He started for the Soccer Rios. Their match kicked off at 9 a.m. this morning, UK Irish time. Provided assist for the Soccer Rios and the, for the first goal, and then he scored the second goal a little lot. They won 4 0. Played 75 minutes, 100% pass completion. He had an average of 8.9 player rating, and it's good to see Tom Rogers playing for the Soccer Rios. And we're missing him terrible. He we missed him last night, but Matt O'Reilly had a really good game last night for his debut. But what about Atate's goal? The more I look at him, like has to be gone the season. Has to be goal of the season for Celtic in the Celtic Awards, maybe for the league, because if that does not win goal of the month, what the fuck? You know? I want to address the referee situation. Many Celtic fans have been talking about for weeks and weeks. I think it's time Celtic need to stand, stand up to the SFA and complain about the referees. John Beaton's refereeing last night for the game for both sides was shocking. Absolutely shocking. The refereeing the weekend against Alloa was shocking. You look at Callum McGregor's bruised face. I was at the pun up just there. Absolutely shocking. Itaguchi could have been a career ending tackle in his second game for Celtic. Absolutely atrocious. And even the referee decisions this season against us, Buckins, it's just been shocking. And I'm not expecting the referee to be on the Celtic side, but officiate the game on a neutral basis. Play it as it goes. Don't be giving away stupid. Like last night, you gave Jota a yellow card because he was in a collision with one of the Hearts players, even though. Taylor deserved the yellow card because he pushed the guy and started a mini fight. But absolutely shocking refereeing again from John Beaton, from the Freemason referee corruption board, I might as well call them because it's an absolute joke. I've I haven't come on this channel this season and said, well, Bobby Madden had a pretty good performance. You know, Willie Common had a re pretty good performance. You know, Dallas had a pretty good performance. They're all corrupt. And you look at the the penalty incident on the 24th minute last night at Ibrox. Livingston should have been given a penalty. Stonewall penalty on the line. His arm was out. The range player was arms out. And it touched him right there. Stonewall penalty. And nothing was done. But it's okay for them to go to the SFA and complain about Kevin Clancy's performance. That he didn't give the right decisions for against them. Or right against, not against them. It's an absolute joke. You know, it should be. Celtic need to pick up for themselves. And there's a good documentary on YouTube, one of the Celtic fans, talking about how corrupt the SFA is with the referee organisation. And this is going back, going back to the early days. You look at that old firm picture where the referee and um, the Rangers player are shaking hands. You know, shaking hands. A bit of money in the slide there was for that cup final. Absolute corruption. But um, the Scottish Cup is being, being organised. The fixture has been announced. The 13th of February... Four o'clock kickoff on a Sunday at Celtic Park will play Rate Rovers. Rate Rovers will be played already in the Scottish League Cup. We beat them 3 0. It was a midweek game, it was a Thursday game. Jota scored, Tumble scored. It was a good uh, it was a good match, but you don't know what's gonna happen in the cup. We can't take anything for granted as we know. We're good enough to win the Scottish Cup. We're good enough to win the treble. And the next seven days, I'll be coming coming back on this channel. After the Rangers game on Wednesday and saying, right, we got the three points. Fingers crossed, we got the three points. Let's compete for the league. You know, we're only one point behind them. That's if we win the weekend. And if they win the weekend, it'll still be the usual four points. But if we beat them on Wednesday night, you know, it'll be one point in it. And, you know, the pressure start crack with them. Like, they scraped the result last night. Absolutely scraped it. It took them to the 74th minute to score for Airfields. That shows. Air character last night 
We played fantastic in the first half. We really did. We could have been meeting a 4 0. Second half, we had a good few chances, but pressure got to us. You know, pressure did get to us last night, but you have to give it to Starfield. Starfield had an absolute stormer. There was a crucial interception that came to the box and he got down and cleared it. These are the type of clearance that win the leagues and people need to lay off Carl Starfield. I'm saying it again, lay off him. You know, I think it's time. If you back a team, you go you back the crop of players. As much as Greg Taylor I found wasn't great last night, I know a lot of you are saying I think you're all acting over the top. I thought Beaton was average. Some people said Beaton was incredible. I thought he could have been better in the middle of the pitch, but I'm looking at his perspective. O'Reilly's debut at Tate's first proper game playing with Beaton. So you got to give him the, the points for that at the end of the day. But let's get Koyogo back. Let's get Julian playing. He was on the bench last night, and we'll see stronger team Tumble back in February you know Jamesy was pretty poor last night he needs to step up the game and hopefully against Dundee United if he comes on as a super sub so I would start a it on Saturday against Dundee United I'd definitely start a it it wasn't great last night but he done a decent job when he came on start a it anyway and start Jota no question about it but let's see what happens in regards to players going out hasn't been much about Bollingoli as I said Montgomery's close to the Kilmarnock deal and Johnson, there's been a quote, he's from Aberdeen. Nothing in concrete yet that he's going to go to Aberdeen. So subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to you soon. I'll be doing a video about who, is the, who has been Ange's most crucial signing since he came in. That'll be coming up tomorrow night. Take care, folks. Hell, hell. Up the Celtics.